And welcome, Bulldog fans, to senior night here in Muhammad Seymour. It's a special night. We've got Gage Edelman on the mic tonight, as usual, with Bulldog TV, and I'm Dan Waldinger. But tonight's all about the seniors, isn't it, Gage? Yep. Tonight is senior night, and uh, our junior technician is messy with my volume there. That's better. Yeah. Ryan Ziegler back here, as always, on the controls. Let's talk about the seniors a little bit tonight. There's a lot of them. Muhammad Seymour graduates one, two, three, four, five, six, seven seniors tonight, and all seven are going to start tonight, which I love on senior night. I love to see that. Definitely. So let's talk about the seniors. I'm going to go in jersey order. So first on the mound for the Bulldogs and a senior, obviously, Zach Corson. Zach is going to be going to Bradley next year. He's going to be studying civil engineer. Zach Corson's been a great pitcher for Muhammad Seymour all year long. He's come in in some clutch situations. He's started a lot of games. He's pitched very well for the Bulldogs. He's a kid that can also plug and play the infield just about any position. So versatile player is Zach. We wish him all the, the best of luck at Bradley as he pursues his engineering degree. And who knows, maybe he'll play a little baseball as well. Who knows? Next senior is Evan Rusich. Evan's going to SIU. He's going to be a sports admin major down there. Evan's also a good pitcher this year. He's been a great pitcher for the Bulldogs. Comes in in some clutch moments. Also will throw a start here and there. Evan's been real solid on the mound all year long. Pitched some really, really gritty baseball against Champaign Central just a week ago. 6-5 loss, but Evan came in and really shut that a good central team down. Evan's been a really good pitcher for Muhammad all year long. Next up, I want to highlight number five, Jacob Creel. Jacob plays a lot of second base. He can pinch run. He can do a little bit of anything on the infield. Jacob's one of those guys. He's a grinder. He gives everything he can for this team. He's going down to SIU Carbondale next year. We wish him all the luck in the world. He's going to be a sports management major as well. So, Jacob, we wish you and your great family all the best of luck as you pursue your next chapter. Next up is number seven, Chase Wagers. Chase Wagers is one of those kids. He can play any position as well on the infield. And I'm telling you, Gage, I've seen a lot of Sports Center highlights from Chase at third base this year. He's got some great hands. I mean, Sports Center esque highlights as Chase at third. He'll play first sometimes. He can also pitch for us. Chase Wagers is one of those kids, too, that can hit. So. We love Chase. We're going to miss Chase. He's undecided right now as far as where he wants to end up. He's he's still thinking about playing baseball at the next level. I talked to his dad earlier this evening, but I believe he wants to study business. Number nine, Jaden Logger is next up. He's a senior. Obviously, he's going to University of Illinois, and he's going to study engineering. Jaden has been an awesome center fielder for us this year. Really solid out there in center field holding it down. We're going to take a quick break. We've got three more seniors, but right now we need to stand for the national anthem. So please enjoy that.
All right, so I was talking about Jaden Lager last. Jaden, center fielder, senior, going to U of I. He's going to study engineering. Wish him all the luck in his next chapter as we wind down this senior season. Good luck to both teams. Next up, I want to highlight Braden Smith. He's, he's talking about playing baseball at the next level. He hasn't decided where he's going to go to school, but he wants to be a criminal justice major. Braden Smith, he is the heart and soul of this baseball team. He's the catcher. He's the center on the football team, and Braden Smith is one of those guys that doesn't get all the credit, doesn't get a lot of praise, doesn't care about the notoriety, but Braden is a grinder, and Braden really, really is the workhorse of this baseball team. And like I said, the heart and soul. When we need a clutch hit, Braden Smith gets it for us, and he's a captain on the field, a catcher, so. Braden Smith will be missed as a senior. Lastly, but certainly not least, Will Jones. Will Jones, number 23, is a senior. He'll be at starting at first tonight. Will Jones is a rah-rah guy. He's the hype man for the team. He's also can, he can hit it a mile when he gets a hold of it. Will Jones is a great, great part of this team. And uh, we're gonna be missing Will Jones. Will also had a great football season as well. Will's going to go down to SIU and study sports administration. So that rounds out the seniors. We'll talk more about them as the uh, game goes on. Evan, I don't know about you, but this music is really, really loud. It's Gage, not Evan. I, why do I call you Evan? That's you look it. like an Evan. I'm not. Every time I call him Evan. I know we can't. I can't hear you. I can't think. Gage Edelman, Evan, <laughs> Evans on the field. You can hear everything, or you can't hear anything, and my own voice is blaring. I feel like yeah. my eardrums are gonna go out. Yeah, we we like our music loud here, Mama. Oh, that's better. So Gage, Gage, Gage Edelman yeah. is on the mic, and he's gonna be uh, introducing the players for normal. Lady Normal Community Ironman is our Number opponent tonight Brody on Senior Night. What a gorgeous night here in Muhammad. 72 and sunny. Huge crowd on hand. We had, we actually had softball Senior Night right before this, and a lot of the folks are sticking around, which is great to see. Yep. Can't hear. We're. We're getting blown out a little. Yeah. There we go. That's better. Okay. okay. How there about we go. that? There. Now it doesn't feel like I'm going to blow my eardrums out whenever there. I speak. There we go. Well, this ball game's underway. Arensino up to bat. Again, Zach Corson on the hill for the Bulldogs. One and two, the count for Ensenel. There's ball number two, two and two. Gage, I, f I feel like you're hiding some snacks over there from me. I'm not sure, but you're reaching in your bag for some, some Trying to find a pencil. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. Okay, you're doing a good job. You're doing your job. So. I am hiding snacks from you, though. Right on. Well, you can hide snacks from me. It's fine. I just had some popcorn. We're good. Now I'm too quiet. There we go. Now I can hear myself. There was a ball hit to shortstop, and Bulldogs will make the play. If you are scoring at home, and I know you are, that's 6-3 on the play, on the put out. Evan Rusich playing shortstop over to Will Jones for the put out. Got a little wind feedback tonight, don't we? Yep. Lots of it. Blown out to... Right field. Good start for the Bulldogs. They've got one out. Mm -hmm. 
Bacchus, I believe, is up to, to bat. Brock was his first name. I only know the first name because I listened to the announcement. I only have last names on the starting lineup sheet. So Brock Bacchus to the plate. He's got two balls, no strikes, and there's one out in the inning currently. Great pitch from Strike Corson. number one. Two and one now. Zach Corson again. He's going to Bradley. We'll study civil engineering next year. There's a ball hit out to shortstop. And Bulldogs will make the play out number two. Once again, 6-3 on the put out. That's Rusich over to Will Jones. It's like an instant replay of the first batter. So two outs are on the board here early in this ball game. Chase Weiss. Chase Weiss will come to the plate for normal community. He's a shortstop tonight. First pitch going to be a ball, 1-0. I like that uh, there's some senior recognition in the fence tonight. Gage, you see that? Yeah. Got their numbers with the cups. Uh, you can thank Jen Selk for that and her, her husband. I saw them out here yesterday. Jennifer and Brian Selk, a little, putting a little extra work on a Sunday. Yep. So we thank them for that, honoring our seniors tonight. It's outside during my bio class, saw that, and I was like, oh, what's that? I was like, oh, it's senior night for baseball. Yeah, no, it's not Flippy Cup. Yeah. We're, we're honoring the seniors. Yeah. 3-0, the count for Weiss. Yeah, let's see if Corson can get get a strike here and get, come all the way back. It's going to be strike number one, three and one. Just about a perfect night for baseball. Oh yes, it's a lot better than Saturday. There's a ball hit to center field, right center field. And that's gonna be a fly out. That'll Grace end the up. top the of the first. Jacob Creel, senior, number five, tracks that fly ball down. And that ends the top half of the inning. We'll go to the bottom. Score is 0-0, zero, zero, no hits. It's Bulldog TV. Welcome back to Bulldog TV for the bottom of the first. Bulldogs up to bat. Blake Walters leading them off. Blake Walters, a junior, headed out to Purdue. He's a junior, so we'll have him for Good one more start. year. Good start for Blake, right up the center field for a base hit. Walter's playing right field tonight, and leading off. The pitcher, number one, Zach Gotta like how we start there. Let's look for Blake, maybe getting looking at a little steal. 
So, first hit, first pitch is a single for B-Dub. Zach Corson on the hill and also in the batter's box takes a ball. Pitcher is O'Day overthrows the ball to first. O'Day, thank you, sir. Blake yeah, Walters will take second. We'll take it. I just went the wrong way. Walters advances to second on an overthrow to first. So we got a runner in scoring position with Corson up. One ball, no strikes. Corson, the senior, steps in. Looking to score early here are the Bulldogs. Here's the windup in the pitch. There's going to be a bunt. That's going to be a foul ball. Yeah, Corson looking to move that runner to third, get him 90 feet closer. He just fouls that bunt off. Good idea, good execution. Just got to get it in fair territory. Count one and one. Strike number two, one and two. Let's see if Corson can't put one in here, put one in play here and move Blake over to third. There's the pickoff attempt. Blake's is in there safe. He gets under it. O'Day with a nice move though to try to pick him off. Corson swings and miss, strike three in the dirt. Corson He'll go down, down swinging. swinging. First strikeout for O'Day. The left fielder, number six, Carter Selk. Yeah, that brings up junior Carter Selk to the play. He's batting third, playing left tonight, as per usual. Carter's on a little bit of a hot streak, just hit a bomb last game. Yeah, three-run home run. Yes, sir. I was there to see that. That was pretty awesome. Deep center field, if I remember right. First pitch is in there for a swing strike to Carter down 0-1. Blake still out there at second. Walters, a junior, takes his lead. O'Day looking at him. He sets, he fires. Selk looks at a ball. Going to the count. They called that a strike, didn't they? Yep. That's definitely a ball there. Count one and two. There's a foul ball. Foul ball back Hit up here shed. to the booth. Ryan Ziegler dove for it, but missed it. Come on, Ryan. Good attempt, Zig. You should have caught it. You dove for it. Everybody catches it when they dive for it. Good attempt Don't quote from me RZ. On that. Just missed it. He'll get the next one, though. So strike number three. Goes chasing on so that one. He'll go down swinging as well. Basketball. Second strikeout for and O'Day. He starts catcher, starts out pretty good. Blake Walter has been the only one to get on first or get on base today. Oh, going with a little 80s music here. I like it for Braden Smith. Guarantee his mom and dad love it too. They're 80 big 80s music fans. Tina is rocking right now over there. She loves it. And they got a visit to the mound, so we get to enjoy the whole song. Yep. Again, Braden Smith still trying to figure out where he wants to go to school, but he'll be playing baseball next year, I can tell you that. Criminal justice major is what he will do. Braden Smith, the heart and soul of the baseball team, in my opinion. He steps up. He's been clutch all year in two-out situations. Let's see if he can get one here. O'Day is looking good on the hill for the Ironman. First pitch is strike, 0 and 1. Smitty, we could use a hit from you here, get that base runner home. Set the tone here a little bit. Great crowd here tonight at Bulldog Baseball Field. 
A lot of students came out to support the guys as well. There's a swing, it's foul. It's gonna be strike number two, 0 and two. Smitty's gotta protect here, shorten up, see if he can't punch one into right field. He's done that a few times. Gotta look for something off speed here from O'Day. O'Day's looking to end this inning though. Yeah, he's pitching good. He's got, a, he's got some nice change of speed and a curveball in his arsenal. Smitty's gonna protect here, see if he can't grind this one out. There's a pickoff attempt, not even close. Walter's back easy. RZ is still messing with our mics back here. No, I can't, there, I can hear myself. When he dove for that ball, he felt like he had to get up and do something, I guess. Yeah. Smitty battles that pitch off for a foul ball. He stays alive. 0-2 count still. Two outs. Nothing, nothing here in the first. Smitty the senior. He's catching tonight as always. That and clean up. Time is called before the pitch. Somebody was driving a fancy car just a little bit ago. Yeah, sound like a motorcycle or a Hot rod, didn't it? Yep. The count is 0-2 with two outs in the bottom of the first. That ball gets away from the catcher, and Walters will advance 90 feet closer to home on the pass ball from O'Day. O'Day now really wants to get this inning over. <clears throat> yeah, he's got Smith on the ropes, doesn't he? Doesn't want him to get Walters home. Drop third strike, Smitty will go to first, but the play will be made to end the Brady inning. Called out on and he'll be called out on strikes. And O'Day with three strikeouts after Ball Blake gets aboard. The we'll go to the top of the second, 0-0 zero, zero after Bulldog one. Nothing, this is Bulldog TV. Welcome back here to Bulldog Baseball. Shea Zabrobic, Zabrobic, I think I pronounced that right, up for the Ironmen. First pitch is a strike in there from Corson on the curveball. There's a base hit into shallow right field. Just outside the extended Zabrozic. arms of Creel, so Zabrozic right gets on first for the first hit of the night for the Ironmen. Corson gives up a hit Nathan his first Irmily. one. Nathan Eberly steps to the plate, a lefty for normal community. Corson now will go from the stretch with a runner on. Will Jones at first hold him on. Corson takes a peek over. He'll deliver to home. 
First pitch is a foul ball. Might hit a car. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. I think it missed. Didn't the last ball that went into the parking lot hit yours? Yeah, I believe it did. Thanks for reminding me, Gage. <laughs> <sighs> but you know what? That's what happens when you watch and play a lot of baseball and park right next to the field. I mean, it's, it's definitely my wife's fault. She was driving. There's a throw down a second, and it's a steal for the Ironmen. Smitty uh, airmails that one a little bit. Zabrozic steals second so base. So Zabrozic will take a stolen base, but get into scoring in position batter. here in the second inning. And the count, 0 oh, 2, though. Everly. To two Everly, strikes. Yep. See if Corson can't get his first strike out here. Rusich holding him on at second. Here's a delivery. It's inside. Just about hit Eberly, but it's a ball. He got out of the way of that ball fast. Yeah, he didn't wear it. That's that's good for the Muhammad. Corson with a chance to strike him out here. Hopefully convert. Here's the pitch. That'll be fouled off again towards the parking lot. And it'll bounce. No car this time. And Corson, Corson got his man. One ball, two strikes. Runner on second. Nobody out here in the second. Rusic holding him on. Short stop for the Bulldogs. There's a ground ball to first. Jones will cover it up. He'll get his out. The base runner does move to third on the play. The but Jones makes the, the play. The he gets inning. the out. First out of the inning. Now Morrison up to bat. So Morrison will and step in and try to get baseman. that guy Number on third home. Xander Morrison. Corson will try to keep so him from coming home. Bulldogs play. playing straight away. All the way around on this beautiful night. The lights are on now as the sun is setting. Gage, did you see the, the blood moon last night at all? No, I didn't go out and see yeah, it. It was actually, well, it was a little cloudy. I actually watched it online. Pretty cool, pretty cool thing to see, the total eclipse of the moon. Pretty, pretty cool deal. 1-0 the count for Corson. And that pitch just, just strike hits the one. corner, doesn't it? One and one. Great spot from Corson to grab the outside corner of that plate. That was a really good pitch. Delivers a great curveball there. It's just a little high, though. Two ones account. Just a little up. What a good curveball from Corson, though. Just missed it. He delivers again. This one's outside for a ball. 3-1 count. Runner on third. Normal depth for the infield and the outfield. The wind again blowing towards right field. Straight at, straight towards the right foul line, really. Yeah. It's a big pitch from course and a swing and a miss. Three and two. Full count. Now it's the mind game. Yep, need a strike out here. Keep that runner at bay. Ground ball, you would think the uh, infield's going to take a look at the runner and hold them and get there out at first. A fly ball, they'll be looking for a sack fly if you're the base runner. There's a the ground ball to third. There's no play at the plate, so we'll get the out at first, and we do just that. He calls him safe. Yeah, I think huh. he might have been safe there. He beat the throw. I think so. Morrison grounds. So an infield hit for Morrison gets the run in and gets, an gets safe at first. So he gets credited with the RBI. 1-0 early. Number three, Joey Kalaji. Joey Kalaji to the plate for the Ironman with a runner on base and one out. I thought he I thought he beat I thought we got him, but uh, I think he was safe. You saw it like the umpire did. Yeah. You've got better eyes than me, Gage. 
So one out, one zero ball game, one runner on, and one ball and no strikes. Kawaji. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Yeah, that's a tough one there. That Kawaji, that sounds right. There's a ground ball to Creel. Creel looks for the double play. Rusic to Jones just misses it. We get the out at second, but Jones bobbles at first, but that'll be two outs. The runner holds it first. Kawaji singles. Good play from Creel and Rusic to get the out at second. So two outs. Is thrown out at second base. That'll bring up the eighth hitter, I believe. Yeah, the eighth Four, spot. Six the scoring on that. And that brings up the catcher Rayleigh. number eight, Ben Rayleigh. Rayleigh, not Rayleigh. Ben Rayleigh. The eighth hitter for the Ironman steps in against Corson. Corson delivers. It's a ball outside. Smitty with the uh, throwback just to keep that base runner honest. Smitty's not afraid to throw one down there. Jones seems to be fighting that sun too when you look at him. He, see how he's shielding the sun from his eyes? It's right in his eyes here. It's about to set here in Muhammad. It's gonna turn into a night game. Yeah, we haven't had any of those this year, I don't believe, here at home. Oh, uh, we've we? had one. We've had one? It was a cold night cold game. Cold night game, you're right. That was a Ben Greenberg. Yeah, that was a cold one. It was miserable. I'd rather it be cold than hot. Not me. No. Not me. No, sir. I'd much rather be hot than cold. Two balls, one strike. Two outs here in the second. Rayleigh the batter. Corson the senior. Takes two and one. Get the runner. He kicks, he fires. The runner's going. Smitty throws. Pitches a strike. The runner steals second. Two and two with two outs. Kawaji steals second base. It's a tough, it's a tough play to make for Smitty because really it's an off-speed pitch. So he had to get it out quick. I mean, he got it out as fast as he could, but that runner had a great jump on Corson to steal second. Twos are wild. Two balls, two strikes, two outs here in the second. At least they haven't scored two points yet. No, we don't want them to either. Corson kicks and fires. That's strike three. Big pitch for Corson. Really this first strike out of the night is a big one. And we'll go to the bottom of the second. Bulldogs down 1-0. Ironman lead. Welcome to the bottom of the second. Ironman lead one nothing. Chase Wagers up to bat, I believe. Chase Wagers is the hitter. He's a senior. He steps in, takes first pitch as a strike to Wagers. 
batting in the fifth spot tonight. O'Day starting out hot for the Ironmen with three strikeouts in that first inning. Just gave up the leadoff hit to Walters. There's a swing and a strike to Wagers for strike two. O'Day is dealing right now. Let's see if we can't extend some innings here and get a couple hits. Shake him up a little, he's in a rhythm. There's a foul ball out of play. And it's in the softball, the softball field. field. So wagers will look to battle here. 0-2. O'Day pitches. There's a line drive to shortstop. Fielded on the ground or one hopper. That's and an out. That's a put out. 6-3 if you're wagers scoring at home. Good play by the shortstop for the Ironmen to put him out. One out brings up Evan Rusic, shortstop tonight for the Bulldogs. Evan tonight batting in the seventh spot, excuse me, sixth spot. First pitch is strike. O'Day is really throwing strikes tonight so far. He's been a first pitch strike kind of pitcher all night, so I'd like to see the Bulldogs go hunting on those first pitch strikes. There's a second pitch. It's a ball. One and one to Rusich. One two pitch is in there for a ball. They do appeal. There's no swing on the play, so that'll be a two two count to Rusic now. Looked like a pretty good pitch. O'Day settles. Two two, one out. Here's the pitch. Rusic grounds up the middle. Shortstop's there to make the play. Six three put out. Four. This is not good for the Bulldogs. Another good play by the shortstop to bring up the second out of the inning. Center fielder Jaden Lager comes to the play. He's a senior. Jaden again going to the University of Illinois right next door here. He'll be uh, studying engineering as Jaden. Jaden's been a great player for us all year long. He looks to butt, shake things up. He pulls it back though for ball one. Trying to break O'Day's rhythm a little bit here. They've been able to hit guys. the ball, but they haven't been able to make it on base. Yeah, they're putting the ball in play. Lager with a swing and a miss, one on one. Lager settles in, O'Day with the pitch. Pitches in there for a strike on the outside corner. One and two will be the count. Just caught the outside corner of the plate. Good pitch from O'Day. There's the pitch. It's outside, way outside for a ball. Two, two to Jaden Lager. Number nine. Logger fouls that one off. Stay alive. 2-2. Two, two. two outs. Here in second. Down one nothing is Muhammad. Early, early here tonight. Lots of baseball left. Here's the pitch from O'Day. It's a curveball. And it's in there for strike three. A good pitch Logger from O'Day. And that's his fourth strikeout. That, that ends the, the second. Bulldogs three down one nothing. This is Bulldog TV.
Welcome, Bulldog fans, to the bottom of the second. O'Day leads off the Ironman. Top of the third. Oh, top Gage. of the third. Yeah, that's right. Excuse me. Jacob O'Day, the pitcher, he's been really good on the mound for the Ironman from normal community. Let's see if he can hit against Zach Corson. Zach, first pitch strike. He sure has been able to pitch. There's a bunt attempt. Corson all over it, throws it over to Jones for the put out. Route number oh, one. Ground one out. Pitcher to first base. That's the first out of the Good inning. play from Corson to pop off, off that mound and get the out. The shortstop, number two, Brody Arsenault. So Arsenault. we're back to the top, aren't we? Yep. Okay. Arsenault up to bat with one out. Last time up, he had a ground ball to the shortstop. And the out was at first. First pitch from Corson to ball to Arsenault. Sun is officially setting behind the school in the trees. So now that we can see a little bit better, and I know Will Jones over at first likes it because he can see everything better as well. That was fast. Yeah. One lights. second the sun's up, the next second it's down. Lights are on here in Muhammad. Monday night lights. So if you've been following along at home all season on Bulldog TV, you notice the lineup's a little different tonight because it's senior night. Yeah. A lot of seniors getting the nod, all seven of them starting. So we're obviously missing some familiar names if you watched at home, like Mateo Casillas, Carter Johnson, uh, Braden Houchin, those kind of guys. They're juniors. Tonight we honor the seniors and we let them There's start a tonight. Ball. The fly ball is to senior logger. He makes a diving attempt, just misses it. So that'll be in Arsenal there for a hit to Arsenal. Field. And that is the second hit of the inning for normal community. Number 10, Brock Dacus. So leadoff hit for normal here in the third, top of the third inning. It's a meeting on the mound. Well, you got to assume that the leadoff hitter is also pretty speedy and wants to try to steal that that base. So you got to think that uh, Braden Smith is talking to his middle infield. Maybe talking to Corson about checking him out, see if he can't get him caught stealing with one out here in the third. Corson from the stretch now, he'll take a peek over there. Arsenal with the lead. He's not stealing this time. Smitty catches it in there for ball one. Corson's certainly going to be taking a look at the runner. Trying to keep him at first, keep him at bay. Arsenault with the lead. Corson with the half pickoff attempt. He kind of slid or, I don't know if his cleat got caught or something on that pickoff attempt. And it's a good thing didn't leave his hand. No, I, but I think normal community coach wants a balk there. He's not going to get it. He goes to talk to the umpire, and they're going to talk about it, but. I think everything was straight up and legit. There's no balk on the play. We saw had a balk yesterday on uh, Saturday. Yeah, now the uh, community coach will come out and talk to the sec the infield umpire as well. What he's not he's trying to explain that he saw something that nobody else around here saw because Corson with the great move to first, he just simply slipped after the fact. There was no balk on the play. So he's just delaying the game a little bit here for his hitter, number 10. Steps to the plate. Who was that again, Gage, in the box? Bacchus. I believe his Bacchus. first name is Brock. Here's the steal attempt. Smitty fires. He's going to be just late. Actually hits the runner. Everybody's safe, so. Arsenal steals, steals second. Of course, he can concentrate on the hitter now and try to keep that run from scoring here in the third. Stolen base for Arsenal. 
yesterday if, uh, or on Saturday. I don't know why I keep thinking it's yesterday. Saturday, there were, I think there was probably more throws to first than there were pitches. There's a fly ball. It's going to be out of play. Does Jones have a chance at it? He does. Does he catch it? He just no, missed it. drops it. it. A lot of, a lot of stuff in uh, contention there. He had to worry about the fence. He's going backwards over his head. Tough play to make. Almost made it. Just bobbled it and dropped. Two and one. The count for Bacchus. It's a long strike anyway. Good effort by the senior Jones though. Everything he could to get that ball. Just, just did miss it. There's a line drive. Creel with the big play. That's going to be out number two. Jacob Creel with a great line out catch. He's moving towards the second base to cover, and then he's backtracking to make that play. Good play from the senior Creel with a big out. That'll be our second out of the inning. There's another meeting on the mound. Creel doesn't get That's that. We're talking out. about a run there, so credit and Jacob for a good right play. For normal. Number six, Chase Weiss. Chase Weiss will come to the plate. <laughs> Coach Brian Bazier comes out to the hill to talk about things. Mr. Bazier, Coach Bazier, good coach for the Bulldogs. He's been around a long time now. He's also our junior high coach, head, head coach for baseball. He's certainly talking about all the situations that may come up here with the Bulldogs down one in the third, two outs, runner on second. Feels like this game just started and we're already a third of the way, third to a half of the way through. Yeah, you gotta like it when there's not a lot of hits, a lot of strikeouts, good pitching, game goes good. It's a pure game that way. Corson pitching well tonight so far, only giving up two hits to the Ironman. It's outside for a ball. 1-0. Normal community is in our regional, so take note of Weeks that. Up to bat. Regionals are coming up here just a couple weeks from now as the kids start studying for finals next week. Good pitch from Corson. And one and one. For a strike. Gage, I'm sure you're studying every night for finals, aren't you? Sure. At least four or five hours a night? The answer is yes, Mom, I am. Yeah. I know Ryan is. Ryan's studying right now in between pitches. There's a long drive to center field. That's got That's a chance. Gone. And that one's gone. Weiss got a hold Weiss of it. Weiss with a two-run shot. Left center field. For left center. Run. That'll put the Ironman up 3-0 here in the third. Weiss got a hold of that one, line drive to left center. And Jaden knew it right away. Out in center, he watched it go over. Three nothing here early. That's an interesting home run celebration. Normal community gauge, by the way, comes in with a record of 17 and 13. Nine and three in the Big 12 Conference. So they got about 57% chance of winning. Corson settles back in. He'll try to get that third out now with the score three nothing. Here's the pitch. Interestingly, interestingly enough, Weiss, who just hit the dinger, it's his second home run of the year, and I believe, according to Max Preps, he leads his team in home runs with one before tonight. Uh, but Max Preps is not always accurate. So take that with a grain of salt. Weiss with his second home run on the season. 3-0. and For Zabrowski. There's a strike from Corson. Three and one. Zabrozik, not Zabrowski. Don't know where I got the E or Y from. 
You're right, it's Shea Zabrozic. Chase Weiss, who just hit that home run, also leads the Ironman in RBIs with 13 on the year. Now, this is according to Max Prep, so take it with a grain of salt. I'm sure it's missing some information. Corson, full count pitch, big pitch here. There's a line drive to center field. Jaden will get it on a hop, actually gets through him, and he's going to try for second. Logger fires. It's late. It's not going to be close. It's not going to be there. So Zabrozic double for Zabrozic. A double to straight center field. That's the fourth hit of the night for the Ironman here and in the third inning. The first baseman, number 15, Nathan Everly. Brings up Everly for the Ironman. Ethan Everly to the plate. Corson in there for a strike. Good first pitch strike from Corson. There's a ball hit out to right field. Not going to get caught. And it's a fair ball. The run will score. Eberly tries for two. He'll stand up double. Fifth Everly hit of the evening. To right field, and that score is Shays of Rosick. So the score base. now for nothing. Normal not community. Not looking good for the Bulldogs. Morrison up to bat now. At the plate, the third baseman, Xander Morrison. See if Corson can't settle in here. We need him to get a stop here now. Get us to the bottom half. Corson, first pitch strike. Good pitch to Morrison. Three runs scored so far for the Ironman this inning. All earned. There's a hit, and that'll hit the gap as well. Out to Selkin left. And that's a base hit. First and third for the Ironman with two outs. Morrison singles to left field. Good thing they didn't score. That advances Everly to third. No, but base. it does get Everly to third, and now we've got a first and third situation. The three, now Smitty three, behind Joey. the plate will be Kawaji. calling a play here from the catcher's position. They've got various plays for first and third situations. We'll see what they draw up here. Two outs, need that third out. There's a wind up in the pitch. There's a strike from Corson. Oh, win one. Good placement on the first pitch strike. Hits the outside of the edge of the plate. It's a good placement for a first pitch strike from Corson. Runner at first. Wagers won't hold anybody at third. Kawaji. Oh, win one. Corson stays in the stretch. Kicks and fires. There's a strike. Good pitch. Oh, and two. Strike two. One more strike, and that'll end the inning. Or end the top of the inning. Corson shakes off the sign. He's looking for a strikeout pitch here. Fires. It's going to be a little bit down and out. Ball one and one. two. Kawaji looking to score. Eberly in. Advance Morrison. Could use a big strikeout here from Corson. The senior kicks. He fires. There's a fly ball to right field. Blake's all over it. Walters with the put out. Kawaji. And that'll end this inning, but not after a three-run score. Bulldogs down four to nothing. We'll head to the bottom of the third here on Bulldog TV. Iron Man says.
Now we're on. We're back here on Bulldog TV. Will Jones, the senior, steps in. He's batting eight, playing first. Will, first pitch, is in there for a ball. Will Jones heading to SIU in the fall. Will looks at the second pitch. It's a ball. Mm -hmm. See if we can't get Will on first here. See if be a little picky here. Down 2-0, up 2-0 on the pitch. RZ stole my mic. Well, he's, he's being sneaky. He's trying to be a little sneaky. You gotta watch him. Yeah. He sat my mic down between innings and bam, it's gone. It's gone. He smells some of the, you know, I think he gets the smell of that great popcorn and he starts doing weird things. Really weird things. Come on, Ryan. That pitch is in there for a ball. 3 1 count to Will. It'll be nice to get this leadoff hitter on. And we do. That's a big deal for Jones, the Bulldogs. Now we have the chance to, to lead score. Off, lead off hitter on base for the Bulldogs. First time uh, the since Walter Hill. And the first. Jacob Creel. And to the plate, senior Jacob Creel. He's batting ninth tonight, playing second base. Number five yeah. on his jersey. Creel with an opportunity to Opportunity to hit here. First pitch is in there for a strike from O'Day. Strike one. Jacob Creel also heading to SIU Carpendale, where he'll study sports administration next fall. Pickoff attempt. Jones is uneasy. Will, not a huge threat to steal there. But. Never know. You never know. Don't know until you know. Next pitch is also in there for a strike. Creel's got some work to do now down 0-2. O'Day finding his strike zone again for the Ironman. Jacob O'Day on the night with four strikeouts already. Pickoff attempt again. Jones in there, no problem. Really concerned about Will Jones. I like to see that. And there's a pass ball. Will's going to get the second easy, standing up. Good break, break for, for the Bulldogs and for Will. So Creel with an opportunity to get an RBI here, but he's down one ball to two strikes. Creel the senior. Walter's on deck. Starting to see a little bit of a little bit of stuff from O'Day here. And he gets Creel swinging Jacob goes down swinging for his fifth of strikeout of the evening. And that brings up the top of the order, the right fielder, Blake Walters. Walters, a junior, will step in. He's leading off tonight for the Bulldogs. Last time up, he did have that base hit to lead off the ball game. Got stranded at second. He'll look to try to score the runner here. He fouls There's one a foul off. Ball. And that'll be... Ryan was running for that one. Yep. yep, he was running, but it was a line drive. He didn't have a chance there, but good effort from Ryan. Good hustle, Ryan. As he slides back in. Good job, Ziegler. Ball one to Walters. One and one's account. Walters with an opportunity to get an RBI here with Smith, excuse me, Will Jones out there on second. Will gets a good lead. Nobody holding him. Here's the pitch. They get inside on Walters. He flies out to center. Will's going to try to tag here. He won't go. Good arm from the center fielder. So the fly out for Walters. That's the second out of the inning. Finally got a guy on base, and we can't even score. Zach Corson. So that brings up senior Corson. See if the pitcher can't help himself here and get that run on. Oh, Ryan, every time he goes after a foul ball, he comes back and he messes with our volume. Come on, Ryan. Come on, Ryan. Stop, man. Jones with a big lead at second. Pitches in there for a strike on the outside to Corson. One and one. Or oh and one, excuse me. Two outs here in the third. Bulldogs looking to try to get a run across. Only one hit given up so far from O'Day and then Ironman. And that was our leadoff batter, Walters, in the first inning. 
No hits since then. We gotta try to get one here from Corson. O2 count. O'Day kicks, he fires. Inside for ball one. One and two. Just about hit him. Yeah. Last time, or last game, Mateo Casillas got hit, and he looked pretty angry. Looked like he was about to go charge the mound. That's in there for a strike three looking. Great pitch from O'Day. His sixth strike out of the night. That ends the inning. We leave one. And we're down four nothing as we head to the fourth. And at the end of three full innings. Off the and we're back the here in Bulldog Baseball Field. field. Bulldogs down 4 Number nothing here in the fourth inning. Top of the fourth. Rayleigh. Corson still on the hill for the Bulldogs. Seniors Rayleigh giving up, up six bat. hits. He's got one strikeout. All six hits, or four, four runs have been earned, excuse me. Earned runs, 4-0. First pitch is foul ball to Rayleigh. Rayleigh is the eighth well, The ball hitter. landed doesn't look foul. Yeah, he's the eight, in the eight spot tonight. Last time up, he had a strikeout. So 8-9-1 is who Corson will take on this inning. 0-1 oh, pitch is in there for a strike on the outside corner. 0-2, oh, good pitch from Corson. Just needs one more. Looking for that second strike out of the evening. It's a little low, ball one. Thought he had him there. One and two. Here's the pitch from Corson. Foul ball. Stays one and two. Just trying to keep himself alive. Just grasping on for life here. Not literally, figuratively. Of course. Of course, and I'll try to put him down here. Here's the pitch. Does he swing? They check it. And he did go. Strike three. Really goes down Second strikeout tonight. Of Struck out 100% of the time he's been up to bat. And Corson's got two strikeouts, both to Rayleigh. So O'Day, the pitcher, steps in. Batting in the ninth hole. He's had a whale of a game on the mound. And he'll step in against Corson. Corson with ball one. The pitcher is pitching to the pitcher.
Been calling that outside corner all day long, and there's another one, 1-1. One, one. They've been calling that outside corner every home game. Seems that way, doesn't it? Same pitch in there for a strike. One and two's a count against O'Day. Infield playing normal depth, normal position in the outfield as well. That yep. one's out there for a ball, two and two. There's, There's a strike. Strike number three. Okay, goes down Good pitch from Corson. It's his third strikeout the of the evening. Order. Just has three less than two, a day. Brody Arsenault. Good inning so far. Two strikeouts, and that'll bring up the top Last of bat, Brody, the batting order. Last time Arsenault, up, Arsenault singled. I believe he has no, just one single on the night, doesn't he? Yep. Single on a stolen First base. time up, he hit it to shortstop and then as a ground out, got it to first. That's right. And the batter right after him did the exact same thing, looking like we were on replay. That's right, I remember now. One ball, no strike to Arsenal. And pitches Two outside and for a ball as well. There's a wind up and pitch. That's a foul ball, two and one. Good play from Bezier coming out of the dugout, firing it off to the pitcher. It popped right out of there. Coach Bezier on his toes as always. Makes a heck of a play. Smitty goes down to the ground on his on his catching stance on that one, 3-0. 3-1, excuse me, to Arsenal. Don't lose him here, of course. Corson with a strike. He knocks it down. Great play from Corson. Nice and easy to first for the out. Good play by the pitcher, Zach Corson, to end the inning. In the half inning, we'll go to the bottom. Down 4 nothing here on Bulldog TV. Off the Welcome Bulldog. back to Bulldog TV. We are in the bottom of the fourth inning here on Senior Night. Junior Carter Selk steps in against O'Day. First pitch is in there for ball. That was close. Just about hit him, didn't it? Yeah. Moved Carter just out of the way. No more. Carter Selk, the lefty. First time up, he did strike out. It's a bummer. And that one's in there for a strike on the outside. One and one. Suck. So. 
One and two. The wind has died down here. O'Day took a little bit off that pitch and Selk fouls it off. Battles there. Keep the count one and two. Here's the pitch to Selk. Swing and a strike miss. Number three. Strike three to Selk. Strikeout number seven for O'Day on the night. Brings up senior Braden Smith, the catcher, to the plate. Let's see if Braden can't start something off here. With one out here in the fourth. First pitch in there, first strike. O'Day has been really good on the first pitch strikes so far this evening. Staying ahead of the batter on the count. Really pitching a good game so far. Jacob O'Day from Normal Community. Second pitch is another strike. 0-2 to Mitty. The wind picks up a little bit again. There's a fly ball. There's a right zest. field. Oh, looked like it was going to go farther yeah. back than it did. He's under it for the out. Flies out to the right fielder. That'll be the second out, and that'll bring up Chase Wagers to the plate for the Bulldogs. And that brings up the third baseman, number three, Chase Wagers. Chase Wagers, the senior on senior night. Let's see if he can't get something going here with two outs. A little two out bingo. He has a wind up and pitch. Nice pitch first from O'Day. Strike. Another strike on the first pitch. Stays ahead of the batter. Here's the second pitch. It's in there. And it's going to be a base hit for Wagers down the right field line. He's going to look for two. He rounds it, but he's not going to try it. He'll get back to first. Nice single from Wagers. He might have been able to make it. Yeah, it would have been close. Got to play it safe, though, with two out. Two. He'll get a base hit, and that brings up Rusich. Rusich, last time up with the 6-3 put out, grounded out to short. His last time up. He'll look to change that up a little bit. First pitch is in there for a ball to Rusich. Evan Rusich, the senior. Next year, he says he's going to SIU to study sports administration. It's interesting. Yeah. Pickoff attempt is no good. Wagers and easy. one -oh pitch is coming. And it's going to be a foul ball. one and ones a count. Here in the fourth. Bulldogs with only two hits on the evening. And that one, the second one, just came from Wagers. See if Evan can go back to back here with some hits. There's the pitch. It's in a little high. Ball two. Oday starting to become a little off. Yeah, you'd like to think we can start wearing him out eventually. Like see some long at bats. A couple more hits, maybe walk here and there. Here's the pitch. And that just about hits Evan and gets away from the catcher. Wagers will stay at first. Three one count with two outs here in the fourth. Evan's gonna be picky here. He's gonna look for his pitch with three one count. See if he can't drive one. Otherwise, he's looking for a base on balls if he can get it. Wager's not a threat to steal necessarily, especially with two outs. That, that's ball four. That's what we needed. We got two on, two out. 
And Jaden Lager steps in, the senior. So a little pressure here with two outs here in the fourth. Bulldogs putting on O'Day for the first time. We've got two runners on, and I believe that's the first time all night we've had two runners on base. Yep, it is, I'm pretty sure. Let's see if Lager can't come up with a big hit here to get the Bulldogs on the board. That ball's up for ball one. That's three straight balls if you're counting at home, so you said it. He's starting to get a little bit tired, I think. Yeah. Don't you think, Gage? Definitely. There's a big hit from Lager, but it's right at the left fielder oh, for an out. No, no. To end the inning. Lager Bulldogs with a hit. The field, the and leave two Bulldogs stranded. 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 They're still down 4 nothing. And we'll head to the fifth. Four. We've got Get baseball left. Stay tuned, Bulldog, Bulldog fans. Bulldogs. We'll be right back. Bacchus. Welcome back here as we open the fifth. Brock Bacchus to the plate for normal, up for nothing. Corson still on the hill for your Bulldogs. Thank you, sir. Corson on the night has given up six hits, four runs, all earned. But he's got three strikeouts. Got two of them last inning, so let's see if we can keep that going. First pitch was a ball to Bacchus. Second pitch, ball two. I'd like to see him foul one off so that Ryan can get up and try to dive for one again. Oh, yeah. That would be a show. There's strike one, two, and one. He's going to catch one of these eventually. Strikeouts are better than fouls, though. So True, true. Two, one count. Makes the game go faster. Absolutely. There's a... Play for Will. He makes it. He'll get the out. Good play from Jones on a check Bacchus swing that stayed fair. Bacchus grounds out Easy first out. out. Needed that one. That's the first out of the inning. That brings up the right fielder. Number six, Chase Weiss. Weiss up to bat. So an unassisted put out for Jones for the first out. Weiss, remember he hit that home run gauge. The two-run shot. Oh, yeah, that's right. In the third. So he's definitely a threat here. And he pops that one straight up, but Blake's got a beat on it. He's coming in. He's coming in hard. He calls it, and he makes a play. Great job. Walters right get a good jump Blake on that Walters ball for the second out. He'll retire Weiss on the first pitch, and that's an efficient out and for Corson. One fielder, pitch, one, one out. Shea yeah. Zorowski. Not much work. I like those. Makes the game go even faster. Absolutely. It's good for the Bulldogs, not the Ironmen. This light keeps going on and off, but I like when it's on. I feel like I can see my score sheet better. 
We're in that twilight phase of the evening now. Once again, I'm Gage. You need to go home and YouTube the blood moon last night, the lunar eclipse. It was phenomenal. Just do me a favor and look it up. You might end up falling in love with astronomy. You never know. You might be an astronomist someday. Wouldn't be surprising. See? Here's a pitch from Corson. It's in there for a strike. 2-1, two, two outs. Let's see if Corson can't get us back in the dugout. Get them bats going. It's going to be outside. Smitty with that unorthodox catching style on his one leg stretched out. Tony Pena-like, the senior catcher for Muhammad, with a little style tonight. I like it. Fancy. Fancy pants. Braden Smitty Smith. I'm gonna miss him next year. Here's the pitch from Corson. It's outside for a ball. It'll be a walk based on balls. The draws a walk. We haven't had a lot of those from Corson. That yeah, might be his first. Yeah. That is his up. first. Thank the you. I haven't kept 15. good track of that. So he's keep been better good. Track, Dan. Yeah, thank you, Gage. I know, I know you're on it. Do you think that Tony Stark's favorite team is the Ironmen? It has to be, right? Yeah. And who else Why could wouldn't it be? it be? They probably have a, like some sort of statue with Tony Stark in their school, don't they? Oh, maybe. Yeah, there's no question. He might be watching, actually. Who knows? You never know. There's a new movie that came out. Did you see it? What was it? Uh, Doctor oh, Strange? Yeah, the, that one. I didn't go watch it. Yeah, I heard it's pretty good. Tony Stark, I don't think, was in that one. No. Probably not. I didn't see it. I don't know. I would I would guess no, but you never know. He made, he made an appearance. You never know. There's a steal attempt, but it's a fly ball to deep center. Lager's got a beat on it, but it's deep, and he's got it. Oh, wow. Jaden Lager with a good play really to retire the side. Deep, deep center field. Good play from Logger to get us in the dugout. Get them bats going. We'll be right back here on Bulldog TV. Welcome to the bottom of the fifth. Bulldogs looking to even the score here as it's 4 nothing. Bulldogs down. Ironmen up. Will Jones up for your Bulldogs. Last time up, base on balls for Will, the senior. Starting at first base tonight is Will. I'm surprised Tony Stark doesn't play for this team. Like, oh, man, it's that perfect. They would be really hard to beat. I feel like he'd be pretty good at baseball. Maybe. I mean, it'd be kind of hard to swing with a big clunky metal suit. True. But he'd probably be a really good pitcher. He'd have some sort of trinket oh, or yeah. something. We, if he uses jet things, he'd probably incinerate the ball. Yeah. That would be tough. Yeah. Tough. 
And let's just be glad he doesn't play for the Ironman. One, two, the count to Will. One ball, two strike. Here's the pitch. Foul There's off. There's a Good foul fight. ball. Oh, man. That was close. You got to be paying more attention. You're going to get hit. Yeah, you did. Iron Man's not here to protect you. You got you to gotta keep your head on a swivel. Here's the one two pitch to Will. Way that outside. That is way outside. Catcher had to chase that one. Jones had a leadoff walk last time up. Like to see it again. See him get on base here. And there's a base. He snags it. O'Day with a great play. Jones Will just about got it over him, but the ground out to the pitcher. O'Day makes a good play to get him out. He gets his guy. Jones will be retired. 1-3 if you're scoring at home. And senior Jacob Creel will step in. He struck out last time up. That's fine. He'll look to get on base here with one out. Bulldogs down 4 nothing in the fifth. O'Day still pitching. First pitch is in there for a strike. He's got seven strikeouts. He's given up two hits on the night. Is all for the Bulldogs. And there's a ground ball. It's going to be out of play, though. 0 2 now to Creel. He's going to have to battle here. It's going to be a great battle, though. Creel's going to go down fighting for sure. He's going to shorten up the swing, try to get the ball in play. Put that baby in play, try to get on somehow, some way. There's a good pitch on the outside corner, and that got Creel looking. Man, that catcher Creel fired it. Strike three. Yep, strike three to Creel looking. Eighth strikeout for Jacob O'Day on the evening. And that brings up Junior Blake Walters, top of the lineup for your Bulldogs. One for two on the night with a single. He had that first single of the game. Lead things off. And only one hit for the Bulldogs since the one hit from Wagers back in the fourth. The Walters will try to get something going here with two. One ball, no strike. Second pitch is also ball inside. Two balls, no strikes. Umpire calls time. And I'm not sure what we're talking about here. Probably if he swung or something. I think you're right. In fact, I believe they called, they end up calling it a strike maybe. Oh, I don't think so. Yeah, I'm not sure. There's action in the bullpen for the Bulldogs. Can't tell who's down there. It's either 2 0 or. Okay, the ball didn't count. Thank you. So, Brian Selk here told me that there was a ball that came onto the play, so that second pitch did not count. So now it's 3 0. That should have been ball four, but there's a ball from the bullpen that made its way on the field. So, they called time before that one pitch. So, 3 0 count to Blake. Regardless. He's trying to distract us. Yep. There's action going on in the Ironman bullpen, as well as the Bulldogs bullpen. Both bullpens pretty busy. Yep, we're getting to that point in the game where they're starting to run out of pitches. O'Day fires in for a strike. Blake oh, with the green problem. light on 3-0. like to see that. He fouls it off 3-1. He'll be looking for his pitch here. See if he can take a ball for a ride. And that ball has a chance. It's back. It's no. deep, but it'll stay in. Oh. No. No wind to help him that time, and it's a deep out to end the inning. One, two, three, go to the Bulldogs. We'll head to the six. Down four, nothing. Man.
mound. Now will be Evan Ruzic. Welcome course, to the top of the sixth. We'll leave the mound and go to shortstop. Up to bat, the number 16 of Morrison. At the so we start the six gauge Evan Rusic switches Morrison. places with Zach Corson. So Evan is now pitching. Corson to shortstop. So Evan the senior, your new pitcher. Better not call me Evan now. Oh man, it's gonna be hard. Gauge, 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 gauge. Evan yeah. with the first pitch, and the first pitch is a strike. Last two times Morrison was up, he singled both times. Okay, let's see. Bet on base. A lot. Rusich can change that trend. Could be worse. Doesn't get the check swing there, and Peel is no good. So one and one's the count. Evan with a real gritty performance against Champaign Central just about a week ago or so, came in and shut Central down in the. Here's a strike. Loss, but he played great. One and two. There's a fair ball to third. Wagers Don't eats it up. Yeah. Chase Wagers eats that baby up and gets it over to Jones. For the put out, 5-3 for scoring a home. Score that at ground out 5-3. And that brings to the plate the left fielder, number three, Joey Kawaji. Kawaji. That's a fun name. It is a fun name. Kawaji. You know the substitute teacher butchers it, though. <laughs> oh, I'm sure of that. <laughs> There's a line drive to right field, but it's right at Blake. One Not pitch, out. one out. That'll be our second out of the even inning. For out number two. Oh, At man. The plate, the the tables behind us cleared out. Yep. They were full just a minute ago. Yep. Bugs are coming out. People are going home, I guess. Maybe they just moved over to the grass because they didn't want to sit on the hard metal. Yeah. Benches. Probably, probably. Still a great crowd here at Bulldog Baseball Field. Here on senior night, senior Evan Rusich in pitching. Pitching great so far. Two outs. I win one. Inning. Throwing strikes. Up to bat is Rayleigh. Another strike from Rusich. Gage, we are running out of time. We only got six outs left to bat, so we got to get them bats going. Oh, yeah. Evan can get us back in the dugout. Let's see what happens. Bulldog's score does not look good compared to the Ironman. There's a base hit up the middle. That'll be the first hit for him and the first hit given up from Rusich. And here comes the pitcher, O'Day, batting ninth. O'Day. O'Day, the pitcher, comes to the plate. One heck of a night on the hill for him. Nine strikeouts so far this evening. And he's only given up the two hits to the Bulldogs and no runs. So he'll be coming out for the sixth inning. O'Day looks at a sign from his coach at third. Steps into the box against the senior, Rusich. Rusich steps off, checks the runner. It's laser focused. You bet. Love to see that. Here's the pitch. Low for a ball. Let's pick off a temp from Smitty. I think they might have got their wires crossed. The Smitty wasn't expecting the fastball, I don't think there. Might have been expecting a curveball because it got into him pretty quickly. But he kept it in front. Nonetheless, one ball, no strikes to the batter, O'Day. 
Lager. And center shaded just left to center. Infield playing normal depth. Pitch from Rusich in there for a strike. One and one the count. I hate to say it, but I think Ironman might win tonight. Easy. It's still early. We got time. We we got two halves of an inning for us to bat. Yeah, so well, it only takes one. Looking doubtful. We've scored more than four many times in this season. There's oh, there's a dive. Great it effort get it. from Smitty. Good effort from Smitty there to try to get that foul ball, but can't quite get to it. Nonetheless, second strike. I think it would have looked better if he did a flip to catch it. Yeah, but maybe some style points. Yeah. Maybe they'd give us four points just for the amazing catch. If that happened, I'm just going to go home. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad he didn't catch it, though. That would have been a that great out. Been, that would have been a highlight for sure. Rusic at the pitch. It's high. Throw down from Smitty's in there, but he's safe. Oh, bummer. Creel thought he had him. The throw beat the Everybody runner. thought he had him. This is I thought he a, had him. We need to run it back. <laughs> Pull up the live stream. We'll wait for football season. We'll have that down pat. Run it back, Ryan. He was safe. No instant replay. Wish we had one. It doesn't matter. There's a strikeout from Rusic. He gets the, the K. That ends the inning. we got to get the bats one. going, boys. Yeah, it's it's the and bottom the of the six. Still, what are we doing? We wasted four, all of our time. we got plenty of time. We'll be mm. right back here on Bulldog TV. No. Hey, welcome back here, Bulldog TV fans. Bottom of the sixth. There's plenty of time, Gage, plenty uh, of time. I don't think so. You know what? There ain't no mountain tall enough. There ain't no valley low enough for us to win this game. <laughs> Zach Corson coming to the plate. Senior Zach Corson batting second spot tonight. He's got a strikeout. Zach Corson. And I didn't catch his last time up. I didn't write it down. We've got a pitching Come on, man. <laughs> you got to be paying better attention. We've got a new pitcher. Andrew Garrett for the Ironman now is the pitcher. And that's probably a good thing for the Bulldogs. We could not get to O'Day. There is strike one. That was a fast pitch. That one looks really fast, like faster name. than usual. Number nine. So Garrett it's is the two and one for the Ironman. Starting to get a little chilly here tonight. It is. I like this down here. He's a junior pitcher, Garrett. Five nine one. There's three and one. Having a hard time getting it in. For a strike. Be big to get our leadoff man on base here. 
that's in there for a strike. Actually, it's a ball. No, it's a ball, ball Dan. It. Pay attention. We'll take it. Base on ball for Corson. Selk is up. Think Selk can get us a two-run homer? Hey, we only need one run at a time. We'll take two, but I'd be fine with a base hit from Carter. Let's just keep the he inning going. He could do a repeat of Saturday. Only two runs instead of three. Pick off attempt to Corson. It's in there easy. Garrett, new pitcher, walks his first man. Selk steps in, the lefty. Fouls There's him a out. foul ball. He's right on him, though. Ryan was running for that ball. He was sprinting. Yeah, Ryan did good. He dropped his headset like he was a catcher and flew over there. Might have some grass stains after that dive. Yeah. Going to have to have Mama do the laundry tonight, Ryan. <laughs> Maybe use a little extra stain remover. That was Tied. A, that was a big grass stain. Uh, yeah, huge. So fouls that one off, too. 0-2. He's right on him. This is the complete opposite of what we saw from um, O'Day. Garrett works fast out there. Here's the pitch. I'm blanking on his name. Well, it's not yeah, O'Day, no. our pro batter previous. Is it Corson? Oh, yeah, Corson. You, yes, you there it. we go. I got it. Yep, Zach Corson. He's at first. He's got his lead. Carter looking to poke one into the field. And that one's going to be foul. Oh, It'll man. Get out I thought of play right behind our dugout. That looked like Ryan thought it was going to be coming right toward us, and he saw it was going the other way. He booked it. He did. He just about ran over three kids on that one. Ryan, you got to be careful. So Carter battling one ball, two strikes. Nobody Soak out. Soak is thriving. One ball and two strikes, but he's keeping it alive. He's got the timing down. He just needs to get a good pitch to hit here. A lot of room in right center field. Be nice yeah, if he got a home center. run. So just keep the keep the wagons rolling. One hit at a time is fine too. One base runner at a time now. Down four. There's a fly ball. It's going to be gonna drop. right to the shortstop for out number one. Self they get up Selk the retired. Fly out to, to the that. shortstop. That brings up Braden Smith, the senior. That Smitty. Fourth tonight. Smitty. He's hitless so far. He's due. He's got a strikeout and a flyout. Be so great far. to see him home run it here. Pickoff play. Corson in there, no problem. Corson still at first. Smitty in. First pitch in there. First strike from Garrett, the new pitcher. He's a junior. A one count. Corson extends his lead. Garrett takes a peek. He'll, he'll throw it over, but he's not trying to do much there. Just keep him honest. Corson gets back easy. There's the pitch. And there's a ground ball. To the, it's off. Oh, the he airs it. Stop. And Smitty will be reach on an air. Two on, one out for the Bulldogs here in the sixth. That is great. Where's Selk at? We need a repeat of Saturday. Well, Selk just, just re got retired, so we can't we can't get him back. Just, oh, just come yet. on. This is where we need him. Chase Wagers comes to the plate. He's patting fifth. Houchin, the pinch runner for Smitty. He'll come in and pinch run. Which can't 
quite figure that out. Usually Jake Waldinger pinch runs in that spot. Go with Houchin this time, Junior. For pinch run, courtesy run. Excuse they just me. wanted to give the seniors a chance to pinch run. Well, Houchin's a junior, but that's okay. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Makes no difference. We need base runners and we need runs with Wagers in there. He looks at a base hit. Wagers with a big hit. Here comes Corson around third. He'll hold up. Base, base is will loaded. Be loaded. Home run here Second. ties us up. Rusich comes into the plate. He's a senior. Maybe I was thinking of Rusich when I said. Never mind. Hmm? Rusich steps in. It's base. Here at the new pitcher under duress. A They're little bit of stress having a here. meeting on the mound. I think we're going to take a break, Dan. What do you say? We can take a break, and we'll be right back here on Bulldog TV. Welcome back to Bulldog TV. Corzin up to bat, I believe. No, not Corzin. Rusich. Yeah, Evan Rusich is your hitter. And he's That's in there for play. a base hit. We're That'll be the score. first run score. Yes, finally. Here comes oh, here's around oh no. They and got he's going to be out. No, no. Why? He'll be Aww. out of home. Flip, Coach Filippo will come out to Who's contest, but the throw did beat him. Yeah, it beat him by a mile. As soon as I saw the catcher got the ball, oh. There's a big, big hit from Evan nonetheless. Maybe we need instant replay. Two outs, one run in, Bulldogs 4-1. There are runners at first and second with Carter Johnson coming in to pinch hit for Logger. The junior. Oh, that is terrible. Yeah, they get they Three get Houchin at the plate. Three run homer is all it takes to tie us up now. Thankfully, we got two guys on. Number eight, that's Carter Johnson. Yeah, Carter Johnson comes in to pinch hit for oh. Jaden Lager, the junior. Johnson. CJ is capable of hitting one over the fence. He did so Saturday as well. We'll take again. We'll take a base hit. Every run counts now. We still got another inning to play. Uh, I if think it'll be too score, late by then. If we can score one run here, get Chase in at least, and cut the lead in half. I think it might be too late by then. Not saying we're gonna lose 100%, but I think it's gonna think we're gonna be out of time. Here's the pitch. It's in there for a ball. One and zero. As we get closer and closer to the end of this game. Casillas on deck as well for the Bulldogs. So, Coach D. Filippo using all his weapons now here late in the game. He's got all of them. Second one's a ball, two, 2-0. Two Here's the pitch, 3-0 count. Now that's in there for a strike. Hits that outside oh, corner. Oh, man. He's been calling it all night. How about we stop calling it now? Yeah. Be great. 2-1 to CJ. CJ looks at ball. Oh, they call that one a strike. That one looks like a ball. 
All of them look like balls. Tough break for CJ. Two, two count, two outs. Here in the six, four to one Bulldogs. They're threatening, two on. That one's definitely a ball outside. Full count, runners will be in motion on the pitch. CJ in a good big spot here, the junior. All it takes is a home run and we've tied. Can he get it? There's a foul, foul ball. So it was into the softball field. Ryan's gonna be blocked by the fence. He's gonna be a little bit off of that one. Yeah, he's, he didn't even he didn't even make an attempt that time. He's he's into this ball game. Yeah. Looks like he's about to go dart for it. 3-2 pitch, runners in motion. Here's ball four, bases loaded for Mateo Casillas. Oh, Mateo. Pinch hitting Mateo now. Come on, Mateo. Pitch hitting for I Jones. love his walk-up song. It's great. Welcome. You're welcome. So Casillas comes in with the bases loaded. Bulldogs down four to one. Ironman in a little bit of trouble here in the six. It's a big spot for Mateo. Got all of our weapons out now. This is war. That's in there for a ball. He's known for taking pitches right off his body. Oh, yeah. A hit by pitch wouldn't be a bad thing here. He might charge the mound, though, so we don't want that. He looked like he was Mikhail. about to charge it on Saturday. Mikhail will be on deck. He'll be in for Creel. Again, Coach Flip bringing out all the stops now. There's a pop fly, and it's going to be deep and out for a long strike. One ball, one strike for Mateo. Bulldogs down four to one. Bases loaded here in the six. The longest inning of the game has been the sixth inning. Yeah, the best thing that could have happened was Jacob O'Day coming out of the game for yeah. the Ironman. Here's a ball outside. That was way outside. You just missed the grip there on his curveball. That's not good. You never want to do that. Nope. 2-1 count to Casillas. There's a big strike. Ooh. Mateo with a big swing. He was swinging for the stars. 2-2. Two, two. That would have been a home run. Two there. outs. Here's the pitch. Garrett fires inside. Did it, did it hit him? Yep. No. Did it hit him or what? I'm not sure. He acts like he got hit, but he's not going to first. And Chase is going back to third, so it'll be a ball. Not quite sure what's happened there, but it's a ball. Full count now, I believe. We're going to talk about it. That was so weird. What happened there, Brian? All right, so they're not going to give it to him. They made a judgment call that he leaned in a little. It's just, just getting a better stance, that's all. Yep. So, nonetheless, it's a ball. The, the scoreboard says full count. Two outs. This is exactly the kind of baseball you like to see. If you're watching at home, this is exciting. This is exciting. This is nerve-wracking. 3-2, two, two outs. Stressful. Base is loaded. This is what you dream about if you're a kid in this spot. Yep, three and two, bases loaded. Here's the pitch, and he gets hit for sure that time. Oh, yeah. So we cut the lead in half. Mateo gets hit by a pitch. He averages one or two a game of those. Yeah. Mateo goes to first. That's a big, big spot. And it's now four to two. And here comes Alex McHale. He'll be hitting for Jacob Creel in the nine hole. And you've got Blake Walters lurking on deck. 
There's a meeting on the mound again. Ironmen have their work cut out for them. Yeah, there's going to be a pitching change. And with that, we'll be right back on Bulldog TV. All right. Hey, we're live here. Bulldog fans, it is getting intense. Alex McHale is on in for the Bulldogs. The base is loaded. Here comes the pitch. Who excitement. There's a play to the pitcher, and he's going to Oh, he's safe. He's safe. Out that, at no, home. he's No, he's safe. The umpire calls him out on the Not, ground. No, ball no. From Objection. McHale. Objection. He's safe. That'll end the ha, inning, ha. but Bulldogs get a couple runs. Four Brat. to two. We're heading to the he was safe. seventh was inning.
Welcome back to Bulldog TV. As we head in here for the top of the seventh. Top of the seventh. I don't think he was out. I think he was safe. However, apparently it's out. Arsenal up to bat. Yeah, he's a leadoff hitter for the Ironmen. Ruchard's still in there to pitch for the Bulldogs. Last couple times he's been up, he's had two ground outs in a single. First pitch of ball, 1-0. and oh. So lots of changes for your Bulldogs. Or no, they were just pinch hitters. It looks like the seniors are back to play the field. There's a foul ball. Ryan was diving for that one. Jones is still in at first. Creel at second. Corson playing the shortstop. Wagers in at third. Selk still in left. Logger in center. Walters out and right. And, of course, Smitty catching. So those juniors that were in last game pinch hit. They did not substitute into the ball game. Here's a ground ball up the middle just past the reach of Creel. It's good for a hit. Arsenal, I guess one through the For middle. Arsenal. First hit of the, the inning. It's not good for us. And that brings up the second base. We're trying to Brock come back. <laughs> yep, need to hold here. Brock back us in. If only there was a way to subtract points from the other team. Yeah, well, I don't think that happens that way in baseball. It'd be a nice foul ball backwards over the fence, minus one point. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't see that happening. There's a bunt. It's a good one. It'll move the runner to second, and the throw is He's high, got but him. Will with a great play. Will Jones had they a great reach. They get a double play there? To make oh, a they great didn't get the second one. Arsenal Come on. He attempts to throw the runner out at second. Does not get him there, but what a and play by place. Jones to get the out at first. The right fielder, Chase Weiss. Yeah. He made sure that ball got to first. We steps in for the Ironman. He's got that home run earlier. Oh. Does he? Yes, he does. Rats. We haven't hit a home run all day, have we? Helps when you got the wind blowing in your favor. Mother Nature was like, yep, you don't get that advantage. Weiss up to bat. Last couple times up, like we mentioned, you got a home run and two fly outs. First pitch, a strike. There is ball one, one and one. Need a hold here, Evan on the hill, senior, Rusich. Could use a hold, four to two Bulldogs, down two here in the last inning on senior night. Senior Rusich takes a peek, he delivers. He's in there for a strike. One and two. Arsenal at second for the Ironmen, a more normal community. Here's the pitch. There's a base hit into right field. They hold him up at third. We're going to have first and third with one out on the Weiss base hit from Weiss. To the right side. That puts Arsenal on third base. Weiss on so, first. normal community and threatening here in the seventh. Builder, Dad runs. Zabrozic. Zabrozic steps in for Normal. What? Yeah, I'm low right now. Good battle for the Bulldogs here tonight on senior night. Here 
Here's the pitch. There's another base hit for Normal, and that'll score a run. First Zabrozic and second for Normal. Zabrozic with a single. Big run for the Ironmen here in the seventh inning. Everly steps in. He's a lefty. One out here. Rusic on the hill. Runners at first and second. Not looking great coming into the top of the seventh. Oh, some they scored. Definitely not good. Well, welcome back, Gage. <laughs> had to take a quick break. Had to take care of some medical problems. Okay. Welcome back, my friend. <laughs> and it's 67 degrees and beautiful here. Senior night here in Mama. Feel a little fall like a little bit right now, doesn't it? Green grass. 67 in the night and a million in the day. Lights are on. It does feel a little football y, doesn't it? Yeah. But we're in baseball season. We got a lot of baseball left. We got regionals coming up. Muhammad's had a great year. I believe there are. How many of those regional games are here? Lines. We are hosting the regionals, so all of them, oh. my friend, all of them are here. Oh, wow. That's going to be fun. You bet. 0-2 is in there for a strike. Everly swings at strike three. Big strikeout for That's Rusich. The out the That's inning. the second out of the that inning. Brings up the third baseman, Xander Morrison, Morrison up to bat. <laughs> oh, I missed two batters. It's quite a bit. It's two points. Two runners to score. Thankfully, it was only one of them. I think we're kind of toasted here for the f for the bottom of the seventh. Never over till it's over. And here's a pass ball from Rusich, and both runners will advance. So now we've got runners at second and third. Two outs. If we can make a comeback, that would be amazing, but I, I don't think so. It would be pretty epic. I don't think so. You You'd need know. to get a grand slam just to get one point over. Three-run homer to tie it. Yeah. Grand slam's all you need to win. Ryan's making some excellent points here. Well, base hits count for stuff too, guys. Base hits are good too. There's, yeah. a, there's a deep fly ball. Walters is tracking it. And he'll reel it in. Oh, wow. Right Great and job. It's a big catch to end the inning, the top half of the inning. We'll go back. We've got three outs left to see what happens on this senior night. This is Bulldog TV. Welcome back, Bulldog fans. Blake Walters up to bat. 
Top of the lineup for your Bulldogs here in the seventh. Down three, five to two. He's got to save us here. Give us something good. Bulldogs five hits tonight. Normal ten hits on five runs. No errors either side. Bulldogs with two runs on we, five hits. I think the Ironmen have had some errors. One person slid going for that ball, and it wasn't Ryan this time. It wasn't Ryan this time. Yeah, he didn't move. He's getting tired. The night goes on. Ryan's getting tired. He's tired. We're ready to go home. <laughs> you need a ride home. I'll give you a ride home. Here's a ball for Walters. One, one. Two, I'm sorry. Two, two is the count. <laughs> Got a new pitcher in. Three and two, full count. Of course, for the Iron Come Man. on, Walters. You got this, dude. Jams it oh. off. Fouls it off. We'll do it again. Three, two count to Walters. This is also the spot that every kid dreams of. It's the last inning. You bet. Only Sweet usually business. we're down by one, not like ten. We're only down we're by down three. By we're only down by three. Base runners is what we need. Oh, Ryan went for that one. No, I could have gone for that one. Yeah, he was going for that one. Should have dove. Should have Missed it. Should have dove, Ryan. Come on. Walters battles, 3-2 count. He gets him swinging. Good pitch. Oh, no. Strikes him no. out. No. swinging. So that's the first out of the inning. We got two outs left to go, and Zach Corson will be here. Walters was supposed to be our like. Corson will step in on senior night. The senior started the game pitching. Zach steps in. Bulldogs Come on. Five two. I think we might be toast here. First pitch is a ball. Pitcher There's works two quickly, and very quickly. That's not paying off. He's got two balls. Yeah, he gets it and he fires. Three. Oh, he got that two one. Two and the one. First strike. He's ready to go home. He's done. He's got good pace. There's strike two. Good swing from Corson. Two 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 pitch. He thought he was going to take that one. Strike three. Oh no! Corson swinging a miss. Corson's I think I think we're done. Carter Self will step in the junior. Unless Self can get a home run or score something, we're pretty much toast. All we need is three points. We just got to tie it. Oh no! This pitcher's definitely their closer. He's working fast and throwing some serious heat in there. That's two strikes on Selk. He's working quickly. Selk's got a battle here, 0-2. Here's the pitch. And that's strike three looking. He comes in, strikes out the side. And on senior night, the Bulldogs lose 5-2. Nonetheless, we're so very grateful and can't wait to see the rest of the season play out for our seniors. So it's always great to honor seniors on senior night. Didn't come out the way we wanted tonight, but we'll regroup. We'll be back here on Bulldog TV. Thanks for coming out and joining us tonight. We'll see you next time.